Hi, my name is Elizabeth Crisfalusi. I publish a blog called Tech for Luddites, providing tips and tricks for navigating our digital world. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change your username and password to log into your self-hosted WordPress site. Now, in reality, you cannot change the actual username you use to log in with, but you can change the nickname that gets displayed on the site. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in addition to changing the password. Okay, so as I mentioned, you can't actually change the username that you log in with um, in WordPress, but you normally ha would have no reason why you would need to. Instead, what you would do is you'd go over to the dashboard, and you'd go over to users and you'd go to all users and you will find uh, when you created the site you probably created an admin account you might you might have named it something different but uh, when you go to edit it you will see that the username is grayed out it cannot be changed uh, but what you can do is you can change the nickname now the nickname is uh, what would show up in the dashboard so you recognize it it's what can show up uh, on the blog post itself, for example, where it says who it was written by. And usually that's about the only thing that reason why you would need to change the username. So I could change this to say, for example, uh, Elizabeth. Oops, my nickname is Elizabeth. And uh, then what I want to do is I want to say how I want it to display publicly. Now, see where I made the mistake and I accidentally hit enter after E? That's now a possible name for me. But we're going to stick with Elizabeth. And uh, you can still also change other pieces of information like your email address and your website. Uh, and if you scroll down, that's where you can change your password. So here you could type in whatever you want your new password to be. Uh, like most systems nowadays, it tells you if it's a good password and if uh, if it's strong enough. And once you do that, then you just click update profile. And so you'll still, when you go to log in, you're still going to need admin to log into WordPress. You can use your new, uh, your new password that you've just set. And so you'll still see it says admin because I haven't changed the username. Uh, where you're going to see a difference is anywhere that that name is displayed. Uh, for example, if I went, actually went back to this, uh, the post, and I clicked on the individual post at the bottom it now says this entry was posted in WordPress by Elizabeth instead of by admin so that's how you change that the only way that you really could change the username for an existing account is you'd have to do that uh, through your web host, uh, through the database system. And every web host is different, and when you start playing with the database system, you're risking, you know, causing problems. So what my recommendation is, if you have a need to do that, is you contact tech support from your web hosting company, and they should be able to help you do that. So there you go. Now we know how to change our username and password in our self-hosted WordPress site.